As of uh, the last 24 hours, 1,254 accidents, 130 injuries, and one weather-related fatality. We're going to close state government tomorrow again. We think that's the right thing to do because uh, the weather conditions today, even though it is sunny, will not be warm enough to melt the ice and the snow that we're having to contend with. So we do not want our state employees on the roads. We would encourage businesses to follow suit and encourage their employees to stay home. And the reason is this. We need to be able to get the stranded vehicles removed and we need to be able to treat the roads with the necessary solutions so as we can melt the ice and remove it as a future hazard. Well, I did not mean to imply that we didn't know something was coming. Uh, what I was referring to was that the National Weather Service had continually had their modeling showing that the city of Atlanta would not be the primary area where the storm would hit, that it would be south of Atlanta. There will not be anybody stranded in a vehicle on our interstates that has not been offered the opportunity to go to a place of safety and security where they can be fed, where there will be access uh, to restrooms, etc. Even with the best of forecasting, I don't think anyone could have totally predicted that this was going to have the magnitude within the short window of time in which it occurred. Uh, I do think that some of our local meteorologists were much more correct than the national forecasters were.